सिंथेसिस नंबर थ्री हैंड सिंथेसिस टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ बीटा कीटो एस्टर दिस इज द एस्टर द अल्फा कार्बन बीटा कार्बन बीटा कीटो एस्टर टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ बीटा कीटो एस्टर अ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एल्डिहाइड एंड अ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ अमोनिया अंडरगो कंडेंसेशन रिएक्शन इन विच दे लूज सिक्स एटम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड थ्री एटम्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर टू फॉर्म डाई एस्टर वन फोर डाई हाइड्रो सिमिट्रिकली सब्सिट्यूटेड पीरिडी दिस इज द एस्टर ग्रुप टू रिमूव द एस्टर ग्रुप वन हैज टू सब्जेक्ट इट टू हाइड्रोलिसिस इफ यू सब्जेक्ट इट टू एसिटिक हाइड्रोलिसिस द एच प्लस पोर्शन ऑफ द वाटर गोज एन अटैच टू सी टू एच फाइव ओ रिजल्टिंग इन द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ सी टू एच फाइव ओ एच फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स द ओ एच पोर्शन ऑफ द वाटर नाउ गोज एंड कंबाइंस टू द कार्बन आई कार्बन ऑन बोथ साइड्स टू फॉर्म डाई कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड to remove this dicarboxylic acid one has to subject it to decarboxylation but decarboxylation is shown by the salts of acid and not acid so therefore one has to first convert it into its salt as this is an acid by itself if you are treating it with base you would get salt plus water therefore we treat this acid with sodium hydroxide and that gives us sodium salt of carboxylic acid on both sides now you can heat it with soda lime which is cao plus naoh when you heat it with soda lime the ona portion from the naoh it goes and attaches to coona of the moiety to form na2co3 the h of this naoh goes and attach to the benzene ring on both sides via electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction to form 14 dihydro symmetrically substituted pyridine now to synthesize pyridine from 14 dihydropyridine one needs to remove two hydrogen atom and a pair of electron to remove two hydrogen atom now to synthesize pyridine from 14 dihydropyridine one needs to remove two hydrogen atom and a pair of electron that is one needs to use a dehydrogenating or an oxidizing agent for this purpose a mild oxidizing agent is enough for this purpose as one needs to remove only two hydrogen atom a mild oxidizing agent which is resistant to acidic conditions as we are already using acid in the reaction previously fecl3 a lewis acid catalyst is befitting for this purpose it is a mild oxidizing agent as well it is resistant to acidic condition fecl3 fe has two half filled d orbitals this two half filled d orbitals can accept two hydrogen and a pair of electron therefore we reflex this with fecl3 when we do this a hydride reacts with fecl3 a hydride eliminates from here and it reacts with fecl3 to form fehcl3 minus the fe the two empty d orbitals of fe accepts the pair of electron and one hydrogen now when this happens this carbon gets a positive charge the positively charged this carbon now attracts electron pair from adjacent position and therefore this electron pair this bond it comes here when that does happen this carbon 
is at loss therefore this carbon becomes positive this positively charged carbon now attracts electron from the adjacent pair from the adjacent position this electron pair between nitrogen and hydrogen is attracted and an H plus is dissociated so the electron pair now lies here and lies here while the H plus has been eliminated and that results in the formation of a symmetrically substituted pyridine. Therefore, hand synthesis is used for the synthesis of symmetrically substituted pyridine. The H plus that eliminates now combines with FeHCl3- to give back the Lewis acid catalyst FeCl3 and hydrogen.